Lads, what's going on, Gonfia? And today I have got my current Brazil, Brazil team, or Brazil team, whatever you want to call it, Brazilian Silvers. One of the, well, probably my most fun team to play with on Ultima Team since FIFA 11. Absolute love them. They're always so fun to play with. You get skills, you get overpowered players, you get pace, you get everything. And uh, I know you lot have probably seen tons of these Brazil teams, but. I just just for assuming it's my current squad at the moment and I'm really enjoying playing with it. I may as well show you like better than it going to waste and I'm sure you lot might be a little bit interested in seeing it. So in goal first off we have got the one, the only one for me. Nelson D Jesus Silver. Better known as Dida. Um this guy is just I mean look 88 positioning for a silver card. That's pretty retarded. 75 diving, 68 reflexes which aren't too good, and 70 handling. Because his positioning is so good, this guy literally is, feels like the best keep one of the best keepers on the game. Just because his positioning is so good, when you play even playing against goal teams, he just he's such a good shot stopper. And um, usually, I don't like playing with silver keepers because they just so they they let in so much stupid shit goes in and that. But this he is just he, he's outstanding. Six foot five as well, and for twelve k, I, I love him, man. This this whole team, but he is just amazing. Then our first centre back is this guy. You've probably seen a lot of him and heard a lot of him. His name is Z Zelalo, I think. Something like that. I'm not sure. De Silva, whatever you want to call him. But 73 pace for a centre back, 81 heading, 71 diving. He has, I think, in I think he has 90 odd strength. He has 80 odd aggression, and he's amazing in the air as well. Freestyle skills, funny enough, freestyle weak foot. Six foot two, an absolute beast. Trust me, this guy is just evil. The next one we have got the overused, probably the most overused for silver centre back of them all, Antonio Ferreira. This guy is just a beast simply because he's 81 pace, 81 pace, 67 defending, 67 heading. Once again, free star skills again, which is crazy for centre back. You don't usually see centre backs with free star skills, and he's six foot three, meaning he wins every header automatically because he's so tall. He's very strong, he's aggressive, and he's just an amazing centre back. Definitely worth 15k. Right back then, we have got probably my favourite player, or one of my favourite players in this whole team. Always had love for this team. I even play him in goal teams because he's that good. Nay. Best thing about him, once again, lads, is like I say with all my right backs and left backs, high defensive work rate, which I just love. Means he's always in the right positions at the right time. Helps out the centre backs as well. And he's quick. He's got enough pace to keep running up and down the wing. An absolute beast for the price. And I wouldn't choose him over anyone. 72 heading as well. 72 dribbling. And for 15k, I love him. Left back then, we have got the other overused 5-star skill left back. The only 5-star skill left back on the game. Marcio Azevedo. Oh, this guy has been going hard since FIFA 12. Everyone knows about him. Yes, he is priced at 73k, but what, what do you expect? He's a Brasilva and he's 5-star skills. He's not going to be cheap, is he? He's also 73 pace, 63 heading, and going forward, he's, he's decent... His defending is kind of shaky. He's not the best defender. But going forward, he's skillful. You can have fun with him. And he bombs up and down. And this, this team, this is what I mean. You can just have a lot of fun with it. And it's just fun to play with. CDM then, we have got... I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Juicelai, I think his name is. Or Jukilai. Jukilai or Juicelai. One of them. Four-star skiller. Three-star weak foot. And he's a CDM. I mean, he's got to be up there with Yaya Tori. Look at those stats. 80 pace. 75 dribbling. 72 defending. 74 pass and 70 head and for a CDM and he's silver remember lads that is just insane 55k yeah people might say that is kind of that that's very high but he's 74 rated he's a silver and he's probably the best silver CDM on the game so what can you really say and he is an absolute beast first our skills as well six foot one and strong what a player left and then we have got the pace abuser I think I'm not sure what is fit Rafael Martino that's the one Five star, uh, four star weak foot even, left footed, and the only problem is he's left footed on the left side, but he got a four star weak foot, so his right foot's decent as well. 92 pace, so you can bomb up and down the wing, and 70 dribbling. Decent player, didn't see too much of him, but when I did, he was decent. Right mid then, we have got the other, one of the most overused players on this game, Mykon Liete, man. Once again, been going so hard since FIFA 12, everyone has been bumming this guy. 103k you're paying for him, but he's a 5-star skiller, and he is amazing. Probably one of the best players in this team. I would definitely choose him over Calvin and over Danilio. He's that good. He just he just seems amazing on the ball. 90 pace as well. Good dribbling. 
Uh, and I just love him. I'd love them to bring out an inf I hope he gets an inform this game, and I hope he gets an inform striker version again because he was my favourite card in the whole game, FIFA 12, when his striker version came out. He is just an absolute tank. Love him. Great shot on him, even though it says 67. He got an amazing shot. And just, he's just amazing all around. Skillful too. Centre attack in mid, then we have got Adrian. Looks like a bit of a... As I've heard people say, he looks like a bit of a lesbian in his picture. Doesn't actually look like a boy. He looks more like a girl, but... There we go. Great player though. Four star skills. Four star weak foot. Good centre attack in mid. You, I, I think it's pivotal to have a four star weak foot when you're playing a centre attack in mid. Because they can then shoot and pass on any foot. 80 pace. 82 dribbling. And 71 pass. One more you want from a silver centre attack in mid lads. An absolute beast for 17k. Then up front... We have, as you'll probably see straight away, Leonardo or Leonardo? What am I about? Leon, Leandro. That's, that's his name. This guy is just. I can't even put into words how good he is. For, for 4K, he is probably one of the best strikers I've used. He's only three star skills as well and three star weak foot. But oh my god. He is so agile, so quick, so nippy. Got a great finish on him. Got a great. He can even use his left foot. He is just. I loved him. I thought he was amazing. And so he was—he must have been so overpowered because for me, he was scoring left, right, and centre. I absolutely loved him. And then up front next, and then we've got—it was always only going to be one player, one Brasilva, Wallison. What a tank! I actually look. I didn't think he was. I, I'm not sure who was better out of these two. I'm actually going to do a save or splash to cash out with these two lads. So I'm not actually sure who was better. But Wallison, obviously, he has five star skills, so he does have a little bit of an advantage. But what a player. 88 pace. You do see him. He's really, really quick. Unfortunately, he wasn't, didn't seem as consistent as Leandro, but was a beast and got himself into just amazing positions. He seems to have that trait where he uh, stays on side, keeps himself on side, and it, he was just a beast. 145k. Some may say that is just a ridiculous price for a silver striker, but he is five-star skills, and he is a legend. Everyone loved him for on FIFA 12, so what can you expect? But lads, that is my current Brasilva team. I'm not sure if you wanted to see it or if you were interested or not because there's so many of them going around on YouTube these days. But for when, when it comes to having fun on FIFA, this is the team you want to go and build. It will give you tons, shitloads of fun. You've got everything you need. Skillers, pace, overpowered players, just everything. A good keeper and I just really enjoyed using it, lad. So go out and build. It cost me around about... Mm, maximum 300k I think I'm not I'm not 100% sure but I think about maximum 300k and you get just tons of shit loads of fun so lads I'll leave you with some goals I hope you've enjoyed as usual remember to leave this a thumbs up and a comment or whatever and I'll speak to you next time peace